Academia lookbook with five different outfits today at the University of Chicago and also downtown Chicago. And we're also doing a behind the scenes vlog, so stay tuned for her video. Hopefully with this video, you'll get some inspiration for an autumn or winter outfit that is remotely <laughs> resembling dark academia. Um, that is the goal at least. See you at the end of the video. Outfit number one was probably the most versatile because I paired black pants with a black sweater and a white collared shirt to go underneath so that I could have the collar of the white shirt sticking out from the sweater to get that dark academia look. Obviously my colors are very dark right here because it is a dark academia video. You could honestly do any colors you want and even for dark academia it doesn't need to be black. You could have like a dark brown sweater or tan pants. There's a lot of ways you could change this outfit. So I also put oxfords with it and a black hair ribbon to complete the look. I really do just like the layout of it because you can swap out um, any article of clothing and it'll still work as an outfit. The next outfit, I'm also wearing a black top, but this time it is a turtleneck sweater. And I love turtleneck sweaters. They really give off the bookish kind of vibe, uh, winter, autumn, cold weather, which I think just goes hand in hand with dark academia. I put on a silver necklace to go with it, as well as my brown plaid pants. Both this pair of pants and the last pair I got at Nasty Gal um, online. So they have actually really good prices. And these pants are nice because they don't wrinkle when I fold them up. And I love that. I love not having to iron my clothing. They're super comfortable too. I also wore it with a black belt to make it a little bit more professional. The next outfit starts off with my purple backpack right here, which is not very dark academia, but it is a black pantsuit, which I got from Miss Patina, paired with a white laced sweater, and I got this in Portugal when I was traveling with my mom, so I don't remember the name of the store, but it has fine details on the sweater, which I like, and it's kind of a turtleneck. It goes well underneath the pantsuit. I like to have, when I'm wearing a shirt underneath something, like also a pinafore dress, I like to have something underneath that has either a collar or a turtleneck to it. I wore this autumn bracelet as well with red and green leaves on it. Because it was cold, I am often wearing for these shots my long black coat, but I think the coat often completes the look as well. This next outfit was probably a little bit less dark academia because I'm wearing a light tan sweater, but you could easily swap it out for a darker color. I put it with a black skirt and nylons, and the shirt is a white button-down Oxford, and then on top of it is a tan sweater vest, and I love how it's textured. And all I did was just tuck the white shirt into the skirt, and I left the tan sweater vest untucked. And I also wore it with heels. The heels were very uncomfortable, but they were quite fun to wear, and I felt very, um, I don't know, city-like? Like a, like a city person walking down the street in these, which I I am not a city person, I do not come from the city, so it was a very exciting outfit to do. For my final outfit, I wore a brown plaid pinafore dress. I love this dress because it really feels like Thanksgiving time when I wear it, and I also put on my Oxfords and tall, uh, almost knee-high cream-colored socks. Underneath my pinafore, I had a black turtleneck, actually the same turtleneck that I wore with my plaid pants. So as you can see, this shirt works with completely different outfits, and you can completely transform the look just by wearing it with something else. I have my pinecone necklace that I got, again, reminiscent of colder weather. Thank you to Karina for being my hand model. She played the piano very well, by the way. Also, just in general, huge shout out to Karina because this video could not have been done without her. She did an incredible job and I'm so grateful for all of her filming that she did. All right, I hope you enjoyed the five outfits. It was a lot of fun to film and plan and we had a blast going to Chicago, but have a wonderful rest of your week and thank, thank you so, so much, much for watching. watching.